Because you heard somebody yell for help at first. Just black smoke filling the sky. So, I mean, the building was up in flames, and they had that one tank they said was up in flames. Neighbors in Curtis Bay described the impact of the fire on March 7th at Petroleum Recovery and Remediation Management Incorporated on Curtis Avenue. A PMI employee, vacuum truck operator Ernest Cooper, died. He was engulfed in flames. According to the Maryland Occupational Safety and Health Investigation, seven employees were on the job in various locations at the facility the morning of the fire. The investigation revealed on a normal day, three people worked together to unload vacuum trucks. But on the day of the incident, Cooper was the only employee unloading his truck. In the report, it states wastewater settlement tank two began to overflow and spray like a fountain. The report claims Mr. Cooper ran into a diking system where the trash pump was located and became soaked in the liquid spraying from the tank. Somewhere between Mr. Cooper turning the pump off and walking back to the vacuum truck, a fire erupted. Employees at the scene unsuccessfully tried to save their co-worker. The fire became too big and too hot. It spread to other plastic above ground storage tanks and two buildings. Employees told investigators they heard a hissing sound prior to the fire and that the pump would backfire if shut off improperly or too quickly. It is really, really, really detrimental, not only and traumatic, detrimental and traumatic, not only to the individual, but also to the community at large. It is incidents like this that Curtis Bay residents and a city councilwoman say increase concerns about safety and health hazards for workers and families in the Curtis Bay area. The city of Baltimore is resilient, but also the city of Baltimore has gone through intense trauma. This is just another factor in South Baltimore communities where we have had a traumatic experience. Mosh issued citations to Petroleum Recovery and Remediation Management for 16 violations, 12 of them considered serious. They include four above ground storage tanks constructed from a combustible material instead of steel a gas-powered water pump stored and operated in a diking system which created sources of ignition. Other findings? Employees pumped flammable liquids into a metal strainer box and plastic holding tanks. Neither had proper hazard warnings. And employees were not provided information and training on hazardous chemicals in their work area. The facility, in operation for approximately 11 years, according to a Mosh inspection report, treated 10,000 to 15,000 gallons per day of petroleum-contaminated water. In response, PMI sent Mosh a letter dated June 10th. It reads in part, As required, we have corrected the hazardous conditions or practices identified in our workplace. The letter also indicates the wastewater treatment facility has been destroyed and no longer operable. PMI also states if the treatment facility is restored, the processing tanks will be made of steel and processing pumps and equipment will be designed to control or eliminate any sources of ignition where the presence of vapors are possible. Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News. And Barry tells us that 11 News did contact PMI for comment. We are still waiting for that response.